This video is about setting up the part modeler interface to what you want it to be. Um, there's no point in having icons on the screen that you don't want but on the same hand you want the icons that you commonly use, things that you commonly use there quickly. You don't want to keep having to use all these drop down menus to get what you want if there's something you use and the best way to do this is keep building your profile all the while until you've got it exactly as you want it this is what I do and then you get used to it so it's a good idea to set yours up the same as this and then as you watch these videos you'll you won't be searching around if you see me go to an icon then you might have to look on a drop down menu to find that same function but it will be there so what you do is you right click there and you say customize it then comes up with this screen and you can find anything you want on here every single thing that it'll do is on there as an icon so you can then drag and drop that icon so if I wanted that one there I just drag it drop it there close this window and I've got it that's part of my interface now to get rid of one just drag it to there in your desktop and it's gone that's all you need to do so you can so you can unclutter this if everybody's got their own way of working if when you save you always use a drop down then you don't need a save icon um, I use this this one here save as I use that a lot so I've got that up there now I could say take that away in which case whenever I click up there it's going to be save as not save so I'm always going to have to make sure that I'm not saving on top of anything might be the way you want to work it's each to his own that printer icon I never use that take it out so there's no point in having it sat there because all that's going to happen is when you look at this interface it's just going to blow your mind because there's just too much there now when we've uh, when we've done that all you really need to do is just close it and the next time when you save this edge uh, this part model session the next time you open it it will remember what you've set up here so it'll all work um, for you the next time so build this up as you go along you know and get it so that you've got just all the icons that you need along here and you'll find that you'll be able to work much faster because a lot of the time we spend is just searching around oh where's that i know it'll do this whatever it is but i can't find it now the other thing that we can do here is um if we look on um if we look on toolbars you'll see that it says new if you click new you can actually um create a new toolbar um, I'm going to call it David okay and you see it there it's only a tiny thing um, you can uh, you can move it to where you want it to be so I'll put that up there and then you see where these dotted and there's one there you see all these you can move along you can juggle them around to make so get your screen as you want it nice and nicely laid out get your you know it's a bit like having everything tidy on your desk at work you know if it's nice and tidy you know where everything is do the same with this now this this new um, uh, menu that I've got there I could now just go back to these uh, commands again and I can just drag and drop commands onto that onto that and the same if I want rid of it just drag it there and then just close it it's gone so you don't need to keep that so that's how you would set this thing up so try and spend a bit of time it's really well worth doing because it's going to get you organized and it's going to give consistency to what you're doing and just there's no but there's nothing clever about being quickly quickly being able to find where these things are it's it's much easier to have an icon along the top and you can work much faster so try and set set up the same as this if you can okay that's the end of this little video thank you very much